Hey guys, my name is Araya, and this is my first video for my YouTube channel. I hope you like it. Today we're going to talk about college students shopping on a budget. And yes, I mean shopping. I know there's a whole bunch of college students out there trying to budget their time, budget their money. You got assignments, you got homework, you got class. And it seems like there's no middle ground, you can't find anything just to do in your leisure time. And I know a lot of girls, like they wanna go shopping, a lot of guys too, and but they don't wanna break the bank. So, I'm gonna give you some tips for that. Tip number one, fraction off the important things. For instance, if you have car insurance or a car note, like some of my friends do, they tend to put that money aside first and pay it off and do what they have to do and then decide what money they have left to go shopping with. And even then, they might have to fraction that off again. Tip number two, do not, do not go shopping between classes. Let me tell you something. I went shopping between classes one time and I bought a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need. That's what's gonna happen. You don't wanna just waste your money on something like a feather duster or something for your apartment or dorm room. If you really need it, then buy it. But if you don't, don't do it. Tip number three. Set a limit for yourself. When you go shopping, say, hey, I might be able to spend $50, and that's it. Don't cross your limit. Don't get a friend to help you cross your limit. Don't do it, because then you're gonna come back and be like, oh, well, I'm supposed to have this and that left over to do this and that, and then what happens? You don't have it. So set your limit. Tip number four, take a friend with you. So every time I go shopping, I take my roommate Jordan with me, you guys are probably gonna meet her later on in another video. But she helps me stay on top of what I wanna save and what I wanna keep. And I do the same thing for her. Before we even leave the apartment, we really just think about what we have to do later on, like what we wanna save for. And it really helps us stay on top of things. And we just support each other. And on top of that, we have fun shop. Tip number five, download apps. Not any apps. There's an app I use and it's called Retail Me Not. Jordan and I use it. And every time we step into a mall, if you have it, you know that that little ding goes off and all the sales. And if there's a discount at that store, is this a buy one get one free at this store, you immediately get it. And it's the most amazing app ever. Like, I love it. I don't have to go through every store to find what I'm looking for on their website. The app just puts them all in one place and it's easy to find and I know what stores I want to hit first and it kind of maps out my shopping day for me so download that app guys it really helps tip number six if you really need designer shop at like designer um, retail outlets such as TJ Maxx and things like that so you get the quality items that you want and you get them at a good price. I know a lot of college students, our favorite stars, stores are like Charlotte Rues and Forever 21 and I'm okay with that. I love that. That's me. I'm fine with it but if I want a little something more like some Michael Kors, you know, something real cute then I'll probably go there because honestly around colleges you're not going to find like a Barney's or a Neiman Marcus or anything like that because of who they're trying to market to and things like that so tip number seven be thrifty let me tell you something i've found so many great things at thrift stores like things that people had back in the day and they didn't even want and some of those things are really dope to me you know and a lot of the kids around my school they thrift a lot and that's just what we do and i'm from new york so if you know new york and you're from new york you know we thrift and I mean, thrifting in New York is a little bit more, but you can always be thrifty. Like, I've been to fashion shows where the budget was $30 at a thrift store, and they came out with amazing things, workwear, casual wear, things like that, and being thrifty is nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, hello, you're a college student. Tip number eight. Now, this is something that my mom usually does, and... My friend Jordan and a lot of my other friends, they buy opposite season clothing. But for me, I like to buy things in season. I don't know why, it's just a me thing. Like once I buy it, like I wanna wear it like in the next week or two. So that's just me. But I found that buying opposite season clothing like is a lot cheaper and 
you get stuff for the winter per se if you go if you go to school somewhere where it snows like I do like buying coats in the summer or like in the spring is a good idea because listen when coat season come around and you need it it's gonna be gone okay it's going to be gone or in the winter time when the spring is coming up and things like sandals and stuff coming out I would say grab it because by the time the summer comes, like half of the cute stuff is going to be gone that you actually wanted. So just be prepared and think forward. Tip number nine. When I said don't shop between classes, also do not shop when you're feeling down. For instance, when people say do not go get a new hairstyle when you're feeling sad or when you're feeling mad or anything like that. Because you might leave and you might not like it so don't go shopping when you're feeling down or sad because you're just going to want to buy things to buy things to make you feel better and i've been a victim of that in the past like i'll just go shopping and be like oh i had a crappy day i just want to go shopping and and i buy things i don't need <laughs> so don't do that do not go shopping when you're sad or when you're mad just watch a movie netflix and chill by yourself and just have a good time and then when you feel a bit a little bit better i would suggest go shopping and having fun tip number 10 last but not least have fun oh my god i cannot stress this enough if you love shopping and you love going to the mall or if you're from new york and you know what soho is and you love going to soho and you love shopping do that my mom encourages me to sometimes just buy one thing that i really really want like just buy it because it will make me feel better and it will also just be something that I'll be like, I did this on my own. I can get it on my own. If you're a working college student, you know what I mean. You don't want to keep relying on your parents a lot. You know you kind of have to and that's okay. But, you know, you got to splurge once in a while. Don't big splurge, just little splurge. But yeah, have fun and take friends with you. Like, have fun. Like. If you guys meet Jordan sometime in the near future, I love Jordan. This is my Georgie. She goes shopping with me and we just talk and have genuine girl time and I love it. And it's one of the things that you really love in college and you cherish those times because once you leave college, you might not have time to do all that stuff with your girlfriend. So, so I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around to hear my tips. And there will be more videos coming soon. I haven't really figured out a schedule and when I want to post or anything. Because college, hectic, you don't really get a set schedule when things come up. But if you want to keep up, just follow me on Instagram. Araya V, V E E, underscore, underscore. So it's just Araya V, underscore, underscore. And I'll post it at the bottom in the bio so you'll be able to contact me so thanks guys